Should you live alone or should you have a roommate? The eternal question that has plagued the minds of renters since the dawn of time. And we're gonna answer it by comparing a studio to a four bedroom apartment because they're in the exact same building. The studio's going for 1,600. The four bedroom has two bathrooms and is going for $4,000, which is a thousand bucks per person. The studio's more money, but you get to have it all to yourself, but it's a lot smaller than the four bedroom, two bath. Which of these two options is the better choice? Only one way to find out. Here we are in Midtown East. We took the six train to get here, but you can also get the E and the M. And the apartment is less than 10 minutes from right here, which makes this a pretty convenient part of town. It's also a rather busy part of town because we're in Midtown. And even though I think there are some cool things about Midtown, one of them definitely is not mass-produced coffee. I'm sure that as we head east, we will find something better than Starbucks. But while we look for something better than Starbucks, look at all these little restaurants here on 53rd Street. It's not restaurant row, but boy, you've got a lot of choices over here. Over here, we've got a bar. Next to that, we've got noodles and barbecue. And next to that, there's a little pizzeria. Vote for Pedro. Napoleon Dynamite, anyone else a fan of that movie? Then we've got this little Japanese place right here. Some of you might not know this, but Japanese food is not only sushi. I've been to Osaka four times. Definitely get something other than sushi if you come here. But if you're gonna get ramen, this place over here is one of the best in the city. And it looks like it's next to a barbecue place that I haven't been to. Maybe. It's it's good, maybe it's not, we'll never know. There's so much sugar in the cookies you get at Insomnia that the only way ordering them is gonna help you get to sleep is from the sugar crash you're bound to experience. But boy, are they good, that's for sure. Over here, you can buy a cream puff. In Japan, cream puffs are super popular. This smoke shop is having an identity crisis. It says it's a coffee place, but all they sell is bongs. If you go in there to buy coffee, they'll probably just laugh at you. Now, if all that wasn't enough to make you fat, we're over here on 2nd Avenue and the building's just three blocks that direction. And there are even more choices over here. Wow, everything in the window here just looks amazing. And I think you'll be hard pressed not to find a place to eat or hang out in this neighborhood. Unless of course you're boring, in which case you can visit CVS. Oh, never mind. They've got an exciting Minions balloon. Better cross this off the list too. That right there's the building. And the bar downstairs is closed, but everything else here is open. The downstairs of this building alone could be its own restaurant video. I have no idea what goes on in here. And I'm too afraid to go in and find out. Let's go see the apartment. Here we are in the studio. It doesn't look like the lights are working, which would normally be a bummer, but look at how much natural light we're getting. And that's actually kind of surprising because we are on the first floor. Now, since this is a studio, the entire place is just this one room. And it looks like over here by the kitchen, there is a box of something. I'm gonna have to move that when we look at the kitchen. Now what we're gonna do is check this place out, then we're gonna head to the four bedroom apartment and compare it, see which is better. If you like one of these apartments or if you think they both suck, make sure you hit the like button and subscribe because I make between three and six apartment tours a week and you might miss one. This is bigger than it looks. The living space is 11 feet, 10 inches by 13 feet, six inches. Now because you've got the front door and pretty much everything else against that wall, you're gonna want your bed over here by the windows. Then you could have the entertainment center over here in the corner and either a small couch or a table right over here by the kitchen. Not the largest kitchen in the world, but there's more appliances here in this little space than in other apartments which cost more. There's a microwave, there's a stove. The fridge here is not bad. It's a full-size fridge. On top of that, there's a dishwasher, which is comical because a lot of people that live in a studio just eat with like one fork and one plate. And there's also a sprayer for the sink. For this price, 
that whole kitchen's amazing. There's also this like big lofted area up here. If you bought a small stepladder, you could keep things in here that you don't need all the time. There's a decent closet right here next to the kitchen. And then on the other side of this door, we've got the bathroom, which has a laundry machine. That's great. A washer and a dryer means that you do not have to leave to do your laundry anywhere. There's also a full-size bathtub, a decent sink, and it might be hard to tell, but there are three mirrors here which turn into medicine cabinets. So remember what all this looks like. Now we're gonna head to the four bedroom apartment and compare that to this and see which one is better. All right, this is definitely a lot different. Now this apartment also has laundry. Two of the bedrooms are over here by the front door and the other two are down there at the end of the hall. Right after you walk in, you're in the living space and the living space is 12 feet, six inches by nine feet, 11 inches. Put your couch over here by the brick wall next to this fake fireplace, which you can use as a shrine to your God. And then the entertainment center can go right there. Now, because there's a hallway and the front door right over there next to that bedroom, I'm I'm not entirely sure if you're also gonna get a kitchen table in here. And if that's something that you and your roommates really want, you might want that instead of the couch. Now the kitchen here is a bit interesting. It's in this hallway, but it looks really nice. The oven is definitely an upgrade over what we had in the studio. And it even has a wine fridge with exactly four shelves. Each roommate can have their own shelf. There's four of them. Plus you've got four outlets right here. And this means each roommate can plug in one thing. If you had to pick one thing that you could plug in right over there, what would it be? Please don't say a blank. Blender. Blenders can't help you toast a bagel. That's what I would want to do. Now the two bedrooms that are at this end of the building face the street. And here we're on the third floor, not the first floor. This bedroom right here is nine feet, nine inches by eight feet, four inches. It's got a decent looking closet and it's got pocket doors so that you can close it off even though it's right next to the living room. The bedroom next to this one is 11 feet, six inches by seven feet, seven inches. Now this room's got one large window Window instead of two windows. But I think this room's gonna be easier to set up because it's got a traditional door. The room over here with pocket doors is a little bit bigger, but because the doorway's so wide, you're gonna have to have your bed in that corner. The other two bedrooms are down here at the other end of the hallway. And what's cool is there's both bathrooms in this hallway as well. These two rooms should take this bathroom and the two rooms in the back should take this one because it's closer. They've each got bathtubs, medicine cabinets, and who doesn't love lots of mirrors? That'll make it so easy to get ready. These bathrooms are way better than the bathroom in the studio. Now these two bedrooms have these weird doors. Where do these lead? It's like a balcony made out of fire escape material. They're not connected to the fire escape though, interestingly enough. The room on the right is nine feet, 10 inches by eight feet, 11 inches. And the room on the left is 10 feet, three inches by nine feet. These each have pretty much the same layout. And because after you walk in the patio doors over there, you're likely gonna want your bed against this brick wall. And that's gonna be the case in both of these rooms because the closet in both is on the opposite wall. And I don't really see a spot for a bed over here where that that is. So pick your poison. Do you want the studio? Do you want to live in the four bedroom with three other people? Do you even get to pick those people? That matters. Let me know in the comments and then pick one of these apartment tours right here and I'll see you in the next video.